Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to um, get kind of a VHS look, somewhat like uh, Gibson Hazard has on Instagram and YouTube. He's been making videos for Black and uh, Weekend, but it's basically just a VHS look with some VHS lines and a little bit of RGB split. So this is how it's going to look in the end. Go ahead and show you that. So started off with this one clip right here, just walking through the woods. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and throw an effect on that. So we're gonna search up in effects arithmetic. So go ahead and grab that, throw it on this clip. And then I'm gonna hold Option or Alt and drag up to copy it twice. So we have three clips now. So I'm gonna go to the top one and this is gonna be for the RGB split first. So I'm gonna change this operator value to max green value to 200, and then blend mode under opacity to linear dodge or add. And then I'm gonna to go to the next clip, same max, green value 200, blend mode, linear dodge, and then max, and then we're gonna do blue value. So you go through each of the different values on every clip. And then as you can see, you can't see the different um, colors just because all the clips are stacked and overlaid. So to get that RGB split effect, you just pull one clip out of position with the other ones and you start to see how it comes out there. But next we are going to add some film grain just to get that um, real like VHS type look. So I basically looked up film grain like overlay on YouTube in the uh, first link, the guy had a video and he had a download link in the description for a 4 4K grain template. So I just downloaded that. Um, you guys can go find that too. I'm going to go and unlink that. So the sound is gone. I'm going to put that on top of here. Shorten it. So obviously you can't see the other clips. So we're going to change blend mode to overlay. And then the grain really isn't that noticeable right now. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to really render out very well. But basically we can click that grain clip and hit scale and scale it in so you can kind of see those the grain get bigger and bigger so you could even make it like really, really blurry. But I'm going to leave it maybe around 300 or so. And then, so that's good. And now we're going to add an adjustment layer. So we're going to project tab, file new adjustment layer. I'm going to grab that over. This is going to be for color correction. So I'm going to extend that over. I'm going to go to color. And now we're going to change the curves. So I'm under curves right here. I'm going to bring the bottom up, kind of bring those shadows or strengthen the shadows a little bit. Then we're going to bring the highlights and midtones up a bit I like that. Just bring some contrast. And then for the creative, we're going to bring the shadows to a light blue. We're gonna bring that down a bit here. And then we're gonna bring the highlights up to kind of like a reddish purple kind of color. Not really too much correction here. And then you can even bring faded film up a bit just to give it an even more faded look. Um, I might leave it around 20 or so. I don't really want it too much. And then if you're going for that Gibson Hazard type look, it, it looks like a lot of his clips are almost unsharpened or they're kind of blurry. So, I mean, you could bring the sharpening down some if you want to. And, I mean, saturation or not. Saturation down would probably give more of a VHS look, but I'm just going to leave it alone for now. So, that'll be good for the color. So, we're going to go back to Editing tab. And now we're going to bring in the VHS lines. So, I just Googled on Google Images VHS overlay, and then it gave me this picture. I just downloaded it right off Google Images. It's pretty much, you can't really see it very well, but it's basically just lines, kind of like this, like VHS lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on top of all these. Put that right here. And once again, we're gonna have to change the blend mode to overlay. And then, obviously the clip is not big enough for the picture, so we're gonna have to scale it out some more. And just like with the 4K grain, you can scale it in even more to make the lines like really noticeable and really big, or you can leave them kind of not too big. So I'm gonna maybe re leave around like 200, maybe 150. No, no, gotta go to at least 180 or so. Okay. 
now, so now that we have all those things overlaid, I'm going to go to the video clips. So I usually leave the top um, red value clip alone and then just move the green and blue because if you move both of those, the red will be shown also. So I'm going to move this out a little bit so I'm going to bring the position over here to like 950 something. I don't really want it too seriously like RGB split because then it gets a little blurry and crazy. And then to move this one even the opposite way. Yeah. So that looks pretty cool. And that's basically it. So it's probably not going to render out very well. But yeah. I mean, obviously those VHS bars are pretty noticeable, but you can bring them down if you don't really want them, or you can just take them out altogether. And the other thing you can do with this uh, RGB split, you can even change these values, like the green value you can bring down to like 80, and then it kind of brings this cool like pink look onto highlights and stuff. I don't know, that could be cool for a VHS style video or something that you're going for. But yeah, if you just mess around with those values, you can get some really good looks.